you have a hard copy that was given to you that looks like this and it's showing all the formatting rules that you need to know about should you need to write a research paper and should it be formatted with MLA style and what that means is Modern Languages Association so depending on what course you take in university or college there are different styles but this is one of the common ones so this is how it's laid out when you do a research paper every uh, page has a header and the header consists of your last name a space and the page number and that is put in everything is double spaced on the entire page it starts with your name instructor name course and the date this could be the due date or it could be the date you submit and sometimes your student name may have a number that you need to also put your main title is centered but it is not bolded or italicized or any other fancy stuff you have to follow these uh, guidelines you can see we've got Times New Roman text with 11 points don't use anything other than this a possibly Arial or Calibri um, sorry my computer just went out for a second there okay let's keep going so this is this is a demonstration of how that your research paper is formatted all the margins are one inch you have a half an inch indent for all paragraphs but not for headings or titles if you have a quotation from a source that is longer than four lines you must use a indent of one inch uh, for that quotation and at the end of that quotation you have the citation that is like a little short placeholder and the information from this Microsoft all the information will be at the end in what is called the bibliography or works cited okay so uh, this tells you how to deal with that if the quotation is less than four lines you would have quotation marks around them unlike this one that's longer than four lines it doesn't have quotation marks so if you have a short uh, quotation it looks like this and then the citation comes after it so this is called your in-text citation and I'm just going to uh, show you this was done in Word using the tools found in here and if we had some inaccurate information we could go back into our source and we could perhaps show the editor or the volume whatever we would put it in here and when we generate what's called the work cited or bibliography all this information associated with this citation goes into that entry all right so next thing is uh, the font readable font like Times New Roman 11 or 12 no extra formatting no hyphenation and it tells you how to do that the header on your essay as I explained we'll practice that and there's all the steps if you don't know how to do it the steps are in there there's the spacing for the entire essay is double with zero space after paragraphs now I think that looks odd because when we have a uh, subtitle here or subheading it they just get lost in here because they're not emphasized at all but those are the rules everything is the default left alignment except for the title the title is in uh, capitals for the title this gives you more details for which words to capitalize and tells you don't do any extra formatting uh, and your subtitles are over on the left and then you have what's called a works cited page most people just know the word bibliography a little better than that it has to be on a separate page it's at the end of the essay this tells you 
everything you need to do, how to make that Word page. Okay. And now footnotes really aren't used for an MLA essay, but because they are used for some styles, like Chicago, uh, it is covered in the MOAC textbook of how you uh, put in footnotes and all of this information is there. You'll be practicing it. Uh, we don't use EndNotes either for MLA, but uh, here's a little note, and this is the end of the essay. And so the bibliography or works cited page will come right after this, and it will look like this. So I had a citation for Hunter, and when your instructor comes to see, okay, I want more information so I could possibly read this this article, they would know uh, the name of it, the journal name, and where to find it, who published it, so they would be able to look it up. So this hard copy contains all the rules that you need to follow when you are writing an MLA type style essay, research paper.